I like going fast. Uh, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff going on with motor racing, with uh, engineering, with media, with, uh, with that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, going fast is, uh, is always fun. Hi, uh, my name is Yui Tan and uh, I drive in the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia as a Singaporean race driver and uh, also uh, the founder of the Karting Arena at Bukatima, the 500 over meter uh, electric kart track. The cool thing about the electric as well is that uh, it saves money, better for the environment and uh, it, it's, it's good fun for everyone, makes it a very clean experience and uh, there's not so much grease everywhere. This go-kart is an electrical powered kart. It's made by a manufacturer called Birrell. It's uh, arguably in the top few uh, karting manufacturers in the world. It's from Italy and uh, in Italy they know how to make their racing machines. Uh, but this time around they've done it from uh, electrical current which is uh, pretty interesting. In old petrol karts that have low horsepower, the power comes in really slow at the start and then gets a lot better as the power, as the, you get more momentum. With the go-karts, uh, the power comes on immediately. Uh, we'd like to say that it's like a golf cart at the golf course on steroids. Okay, for the speed-wise, we can control it uh, by 50 or 30. For 50 is those who have driving license. For the 30 is those without driving license. We use a control to control the speed. Okay, for the safety measures, first thing first, every time when they go in, we have to ask them to watch the safety videos, make sure they remember all the flags, make sure they clip their helmets, visors must be every time down, if not the stones will get into their eyes or what, so it's dangerous for them. I think that this is a good way to, to educate people. At the karting arena, it's kind of a first level kind of karting. It's a recreational karting, it's not for pros, it's for everybody. And uh, as well as that, we've invested a, a lot of good engineering uh, time and, and investment into making a chassis, which is the body of the kart, into a very well handling machine so people can really learn how to drive properly. It's great to have karting and to have drive and for people to learn even at a young age is that it puts people in a risky situation which people need to learn to, to, to be in but in a controlled environment and that's what karting is about it's a brain retrain uh, road safety and this is why I think karting and motorsport is so important for, for a country uh, for the industry to, to really learn about kids at a young age they're able to <clears throat> look at the peripherals better they're able to uh, process so much information at one time and this actually makes a safer driver um, and, and this is great because on the circuit you're thinking about the flags you're thinking about where I'm gonna break you're gonna think what's your next turn where how do I turn into into that corner how do I turn out of the corner how am I accelerating you're thinking who's around you how am I gonna avoid them uh, and, and this is great for the development of kids and, and for the respect of others on the road um, all these different elements yeah a few years ago, I had a friend of mine that went to Le Mans and uh, raced his car and unfortunately died in a big accident. And uh, he, uh, he crashed his car into a uh, barrier that was just behind a tree. Uh, there's a lot of street racing that still goes on on the street every weekend amongst kids. Uh, people die, uh, children crash their mommy's car, and uh, this has got to stop. I think it's pretty important that we, we use whatever we've learned to, uh, to try and teach uh, kids around what's going on in motor racing, so uh, learn the lesson good and learn it here at a kart circuit. People want to have a little bit of competition. Uh, we'll start a simulator competition um, on different circuits from uh, different uh, places around the world and it really gives people the opportunity to uh, be able to uh, to learn about that and of course we're all very open giving tips on, on how they should drive and uh, and just really learning the the basics of karting and driving uh, the experience was very good it's uh, it's definitely it's good fun um, and I think the way we're doing it today with it being a team building exercise. Today it was a good event and it was a good experience. Try to uh, to overtake each other on the 
on the lane and uh, just have a good, a good time with your colleagues and friends. People tend to think about themselves on the road rather than the reason why we have road safety is so that we are aware of others around us. It's funny because in my own personal view, Singapore has one of the hardest tests to go through to get your license. It takes six months or more to try and get your license, which is an incredible amount of time compared to the rest of the world. I have a tendency to see a lot of people here that don't indicate, they drift along the la lanes, um, and, and they're quite selfish in that manner, when really the things that we're taught to, to, to do on the road is really to inform others actually of your movement. That's what it should be about. Uh, as a parent, I agree to play cutting. 因为我觉得卡丁或者是普通的车都有一些安全措施，我们需要follow它的。所以如果你卡丁也是follow那些安全措施，应该是没有问题。而且卡丁可以给小孩子有一个比较安全的地方，因为车没有这样多，可以给他